Ovidio Guzman, who is the suspected drug lord, was captured in a panoramic police operation that was held in the Mexican city of Culiacan and has been transferred to the exact prison that his notorious father, El Chapo, fled from back in 2015. So is the son planning to escape just like his father? What may be his plan? To find out all the answers, stay with us till the end. El Chapo's son got arrested. Nicknamed El Raton or The Mouse, Ovidio Guzman, who is 32, is supposed to be a high-ranking faction leader within his father's infamous Sinaloa cartel. He has been running his father's legacy and was always one step ahead of the Mexican police. When the authorities could not get a hold of him, the US State Department then promised a $5 million reward for any information on his whereabouts. And finally, the rat was struck in a maze. Believe me, his capture resulted from six months of reconnaissance, surveillance in the cartel's colony, and then quick action. You must be wondering how they did it, right? Well, let's get into it. You will find that the National Guard troops spotted SUVs, some with homemade armor, and instantly coordinated with the army as they installed a perimeter around the doubtful vehicles and forced the occupants out to be dug through. And as a result, the security forces then came under fire. Still, they were able to gain authority over the situation and specify Guzman among those possessing guns. Finally, the son of the notorious drug leader was captured. After that, news of his arrest sparked fierce protests as angry gang members in Culiacan, Los Mochis, and Guasave established roadblocks. They even set vehicles alight and opened fire on local airports. Have you gone through those violent videos that surfaced all over the internet? If you haven't, let me talk about it briefly. Some footage from a plane at Culiacan International Airport indicated horrifying passengers ducking to bypass gunshots during a shootout on the runway. Because of these gunshots in the airport, more than 100 flights were cancelled at three provinces' airports. Why was he arrested? Now let's discuss why he was arrested. It is very known that Guzman Lopez has reportedly been involved in his father's scandalous industry since his teen years. Let me tell you that he is not the only one. Together with his brother, Joaquin, he is thought to handle 11 methamphetamine labs located in Sinaloa that generate up to 5,000 pounds of the deadly drug per month. Can you believe it? Not only this, you will find that Ovidio Guzman was involved in all of the cartel's exercises, particularly the production of fentanyl, and a 2018 federal charge in Washington, D.C. accused the younger Guzman of plotting to disseminate deadly drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, and marijuana all over the United States. The situation in the USA was so deadly because more than 107,000 Americans had starved from a drug overdose during the year ending January 2022 most of them involving opioids containing illegally made fentanyl. So, the Mexican authorities will not be sitting around while hundreds of people die because of these deadly drugs. The prison he is in. The Chapitos have been taking tremendous control of the cartel because Zambada was in impoverished health and isolated in the mountains. The Chapitos know very well that if El Mayo dies, the cartel will break apart if they don't have control. So what might need now is that the US requests Ovidio's extradition as soon as possible and that Mexico does it. After Ovidio Guzman Lopez, the son of the infamous cartel kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, was arrested, he was transferred to a maximum security Mexican prison. This initiated an outbreak of gang violence that slaughtered seven people after being caught in the Jesus Maria district of the northwestern municipality of Culiacan and an initial transfer to Mexico City. You will find that Guzman Lopez was flown by helicopter to the Federal Social Readaptation Center No. 1, or Altiplano, which is a maximum security facility that is located near Toluca. You might have guessed it already that this is the same prison where his father was being held after he was caught. You will find that the Altiplano has invariably had the reputation of being an impregnable fortress and the dignity of being Mexico's maximum security prison. Yet, all that stature was ruined on July 11, 2015, when El Chapo Guzman was the first criminal in that prison to escape. Yes, the most astonishing fact is that his son Ovidio also helped the notorious gang leader flee this famous prison by digging a tunnel. Now that Ovidio is being shifted to that prison, we might anticipate that the same might happen again. Is he planning to escape? Now that he is arrested, his alleged cartel members reacted to this operation by carjacking Culiacan citizens and setting vehicles on fire in the cartel stronghold. The situation is out of control, so the local and state authorities cautioned everyone to stay inside. 
and intermittent gunfire continued in Culiacan as Mexican security forces continued to conflict with cartel gunmen. And few people ventured out. Now let me tell you how worse the situation has gone. First, airline Aeromexico said in an announcement that one of its jets was hit by a bullet as it prepared to take off. Yes, imagine the horror that passengers felt during that. Many passenger videos were posted online showing people crouching on the plane floor. But we don't have to worry because the corporation said the passengers and crew were safe. If you think it's all they have done, let me clarify that it's not. Let's talk about it. Later, Mexico's civil aviation agency said in an announcement that an Air Force plane in Culiacan had also been struck with gunfire. In addition to the Culiacan airport, the agents said in airports in Los Mochis and Mazatlan were furthermore ordered closed. And all flights withdrew for security reasons. Such endeavors to build chaos frequently come in response to apprehends of crucial cartel figures in Mexico. Surely, Ovidio will not sit back and follow what the authorities and law force him to do. He will not end up like his father. Maybe he is trying to escape when the chaos is destroying the city. What is his plan? Now, you must be wondering how he might actually execute his plan to escape the prison. But let me tell you that he might have figured that out already. And maybe he is actually executing his plan while we are busy watching this video. Who knows, right? Moreover, you will find that the US wants Ovidio Guzman Lopez. Still, we got to know from various sources that his extradition will likely be painfully sluggish and afflicted by corruption. Yes, he might have some time left to execute his plan. Like father, like son, it's true in many ways for captured Sinaloa cartel leader El Chapo and his son Ovidio Guzman Lopez, who now faces extradition to the United States after his recent detention by the Mexican military in a chaotic operation. Let me tell you that the wait time now could differ from several months to years, or even never, according to attorneys and former US law enforcement officials who have been implicated in extraditions from Mexico. They described that the process was plagued by deterioration and painfully slow, particularly in cases about narco suspects with helpful information to share with gringo investigators. As mentioned, heavily armed cartel sicarios torched cars to obstruct roadways and shut down airports. This might be part of the plan to free Ovidio, because they know very well that similar tactics had operated to free Ovidio once before. When heavy warfare followed his capture in Culiacan back in October 2019 and Mexican President André Manuel López Obrador interfered with ordering his release and stopping the chaos. Now that his group members are doing the same thing, we might see the same scenario again. They are just causing chaos and devastation to the city, so the government has no other option than to free their group leader. They are making it hard for the authorities to control them, and they are waiting for them to surrender, which will ultimately be a ray of freedom for their group leader. Will his plan work to escape the prison? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.